Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Whoa, what time is it? Oh, hi everybody and welcome to another Adventures with Miss K. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back. We're so excited to see you. We miss you. We love you and we're happy that you're here, right Albert? <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about something really cool and it should appear somewhere below me, but we're going to be talking about inventions. <laughs> there are so many cool things that have been invented by so many cool people. And today you're going to join us as we scavenger through the house to find two of Miss K and Albert's favorite inventions. What do you think, Albert? <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. And so we're going to talk about why they're my favorite and we might learn a little bit about who invented them. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay friends, Albert and I are back and we have found our two most favorite inventions. And so I'm so excited to show you. Albert, can you hold the camera for me again? All right, Albert's gonna hold the camera and I'm gonna get my first invention. Are you ready? My first favorite thing is coffee and not just coffee, but a coffee pot, which I also brought to show you. Miss K loves coffee. I need a cup of coffee every morning, otherwise I get a headache. And I can't drink coffee without a coffee pot. And so this is Miss K's coffee pot while I'm at school and I love it. I get a cup of coffee every morning. I need it to get me through the day and that is one of my most favorite inventions. And I'm gonna tell you more about it right now. Okay friends, so let's learn about coffee. So coffee actually goes back thousands and thousands of years ago, all the way back to Ethiopia. There are a few legends and stories about how coffee actually came about, but the one that has the most science back to it and the one that's most popular is about a guy named Kaldi, who is a legendary Ethiopian goat herd who found that his goats got excited after eating beans from a coffee plant. And then he kind of figured out the effects and how coffee makes us feel and gives us energy. And so from there, coffee has had a long, long journey. Supposedly after he discovered coffee, it kind of got exported or sent out to countries all over the world. And now over 70 countries make coffee and have coffee plants that look like this. Back in the day when they used to make coffee, they used an old brewing pan of hot water and cloth to filter the brewed water through. Then coffee pots started to come around in Paris, France around 1672 and they were this beautiful silver color. Over time, the coffee pot continued to change shape as other people found better ways to make coffee that was a lot more enjoyable and a lot tastier. In 1908, a German inventor, Melita Benz, invented the coffee filter, which helped make it taste even better and got us going with the coffee pot. Finally, espresso machines and more coffee pots were introduced. As you can see, coffee has had a long, long history, and people continue to make different coffee pots and different methods that we can enjoy coffee and get our energy for the day. Let's see what my next favorite invention is. Isn't that so cool about the coffee pot? I had no idea, it's so exciting. My second favorite thing, and Albert's favorite thing too, he told me, is this camera. 
Something that I really like to do in my free time is take photos. And I love taking photos of animals and different things of nature. And I'll even include in this video some of my photos while I'm telling you about the camera. But this is one of my favorite things. It's something that I find really relaxing and an invention that I'm really, really happy about. Because without cameras, I couldn't be coming to you in your home. So I'm so excited for cameras and let's hear more about the camera. It's time to learn about my second invention of the day, the camera. The camera has had a very long history and has looked very different over time. The first camera was invented all the way back in the 1800s. So the first photograph was taken in 1872. It took hours to take one photo. Can you imagine saying cheese for a school picture for hours and hours? Back in the day before they had cameras, they used to make people sit there and pose for a really long time and they used to have to paint everything. And then when they invented cameras, it still took a really, really long time to take a photograph. Luckily, that's not the case anymore. All the way back in the 5th century, which is a really long time ago, a scientist from Iraq discovered something called Camera Obscura. That camera didn't even take pictures. It just shined them or projected them, kind of like how a smart board projects images to the screen. It projected them onto another surface and they were upside down. Boy, have cameras come a long way. Back in the day, people could only take pictures if they were professional photographers, which is what you call someone who takes pictures for a living. This all was true until George Eastman started a company called Kodak in the 1880s which you might have heard that name before. This is what a Kodak camera looks like. It didn't look like that back then. It looked something like this back then. Mr. Eastman made it really easy for people to be able to take pictures. And that continued to change over time and it became easier and easier for people to take pictures. Another company called Polaroid came around, which you might have heard that name before. And they made it even easier for people to take pictures. And the camera was a bit expensive, but they lowered the price of some of them so that more people had access to this cool thing called photography. The late 1970s and early 80s, they finally made cameras that were a lot smaller and a lot easier to take pictures and they were called point and shoot cameras or compact cameras. And this featured a ton of different things that made it easier for photographers to focus on taking pictures instead of all the other stuff they had to do. Finally, by the 1980s and 1990s, there were a ton of different companies that created cameras that stored or kept the photos electronically and that's a little bit on the camera mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i know i know oh welcome back wasn't it so cool learning about the camera how cool is that so i don't know if you boys and girls are like me and albert and i were just talking about this but we love inventions we think they're so cool we love inventors and I've always kind of wanted to be an inventor, have you, Albert? And so we thought it would be cool, and this will kind of segue into our challenge question, but it, we thought it would be cool to invent something. And so Miss K is not the best illustrator, I'm not the best uh, artist, but I'm going to show you a picture of something that I invented that I wish was a real thing. Okay, are you ready, Albert? I'm kind of nervous to show him. Should I show him? All right. So friends, there you have it. That is Miss K's invention. I want windshield wipers for my glasses. 
It's so hard for Miss Kay, and I'm sure other people who have glasses too, when it's raining outside and raindrops get on my glasses and I get all frazzled, and that's what I would invent. I would invent windshield wipers for my glasses. I really, really want those. You think that's reasonable, Albert? There might be some out there. I might have to come and buy some, but I want to know, and Albert wants to know too, what would you invent? And so what I'd like you to do this week is I'd like you to tell me on Class Dojo or in the comments what you would invent and draw a picture for me and send it so I can see it. Because I'm so curious, your brains are so big and you have so many ideas and Albert and I would love to see what you would invent. So that's your challenge for this week. What do you think, Albert? Sounds good? We are so excited and we will see you next week on Adventures with Miss K. Bye-bye.